see here. Uh, Carl had his hand up. Go ahead, Carl. Yeah. I, I, I don't have my hand up. I'm going to let uh, uh, Charles enjoy the show, man. I'm going to let him do his thing. So how are you doing, Charles? All right, Carl. Good to hear you. All right. You need anything? Uh, you got it covered? Uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, Angela and I are moving right along pretty good here. It's good to hear your voice. Uh, you got uh, any uh, commentary on our whole warrant state X-Rail process here? Or you just... No, 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 I'm just going to let you do your thing. I mean, uh, there's a, I, I know, like I said, you got your thing, I got my thing. So, uh, you yeah. know, it's just different than opinion. So just let you get your opinion out tonight. That's fine. I get my opinion every other day. So I'll show you my thing if you show me yours. <laughs> Angela, Angela. Um, <laughs> I, uh, one thing I would like to publicly uh, sing Carl's praises just briefly here. Carl is one of the few people that, in my mind, is... is, is, is uh, intellectually advanced enough to, to recognize the, the merits of common law, uh, bringing common law into the process, and he's actually got the courage to stand up and, and, and fight based upon common law complaints and counter complaints and things like that. And so, in my mind, Carl is, is head and shoulders above a lot of the other guys that just retreat from the courtrooms, or if they do go in, they, 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 they don't use common law. Um, so, so Carl's got a lot of merit in my mind, even though we have some minor differences on some of the other stuff there. Yeah, that, that's right. And like I said, the biggest thing I could think of is, um, I think I guess the biggest thing, like I said, since I kind of like wrote a, uh, like a dictionary, um, encyclopedia kind of thing, I really am a stickler with words. So like I said, like when I made that lady's lawsuit, it made it very simple. It was one sentence. It just says, I, Jesse, a woman, claim trespasses. Uh, claim the wrongdoers trespass upon my property, and that was it. So to me, the big thing in that whole thing is a claim, because only a man can make a claim, and the state can make a complaint against you. They file criminal complaints against you, but they can't file criminal claims against you. So I'm a very big stickler with the word claim compared to complaint. So, you know, I, I think if, if, if you could if you kind of see the merit of what I'm trying to say uh, about a complaint, like a complainer is a whiner, it's a nagging old hag in French, it means somebody complains. And I'm a man, I don't make no complaint, I'm not nagging, and I'm not whining, I'm making a claim. I found gold, and that's my word, and I'm sticking to it. Anybody else wants to make a claim for that gold, feel free to make a claim. So, uh, other than that, Charles, you're doing a good job. But I just, uh, I, I'm a real sticker for claim or complaint, you know, because the state can't make a claim. You know, so that's where you go to court, and you say, who's making this claim before this court? You know, if you have a criminal complaint before, you say, this, well, here it is. I said, no, it's a complaint. This is right there, a criminal complaint. Who's the man who's making a claim against my person? Will he make his appearance now or forever hold his peace? No? No man here? Okay, I'm going home. I'll come back when a man shows up with a claim, and I'll settle all claims against my name because I have no outstanding debt, and, uh, you know, I'm going home. So, like I said, that's the only thing I really love about the word claim uh, and complaint. But, uh, Charles, you're doing great tonight. Just keep it going, and... Uh, and knock them dead. Thank you, Carl. All right. Thanks, Carl. 